Okay, we are going to the tail lights because I'm really, really aching to put these in. Because the so I painted them up now. This was just one big strip of red clear, and as you can see, this is the underside. And I've painted the reverse lights with the white, and I have used the testers uh, chrome enamel on the rest of it just to try to uh, add some reflectivity. And then I've used a, uh, a sharpie around the edge there to let it blend in. And I'm really dying to glue this in because I've test fitted it and it fits perfectly and I'm just aching to get that in there. I'm going to glue it in there. I'm not going to scrape the paint or anything like that. I'm going to glue the whole thing in with the canopy glue, the Formula 560. I use this for a lot of stuff, guys. It, it dries clear and it dries really, really strong. It will absolutely hold it to the paint and keep it on there forever. So let's do that. Alrighty, so we got it in there now. As you can see, I put glue all the way around the seam. It really looks like I'm working with Elmer's glue or something, but now that's Formula 560. And it's a good fit, and now we just wait and watch for all that white to disappear. And so the next scene will be the follow-up showing that it dried and it's really looking awesome look at that that's a good look and so now after doing all that it's always good to put the pieces together and then read the instructions because look at this it's got backup lights just went through all that trouble and I could have painted them separately and then glued them on but and I might still do that still have that option there they are right over here ta-da would have been much easier but I still refuse to read instructions <laughs> because I'm a guy moving on okay so now we enter the part of the show where we gotta strip the chrome off of some of these pieces because they're not supposed to be chromed you got the valve cover, you got the front cover now these things here, these ones right here, these are the backs of the fog lights, so they stay chrome. These of course are the side mirrors, they stay chrome. And I was telling myself I was going to look this up before I went to the scene so I could explain what they are, and I didn't do it. Hold on. Okay, one of them is the alternator, the other is the air compressor, neither one is supposed to be chrome. So they're going in the... I use bleach now on that, so they're going in the bleach, and this of course is your rear, rear view mirror. Now, wheels, I'm not going to do anything with right now because of course we're using the other wheels. And I don't know if what future project this is going to end up on, so we'll leave them chrome. We'll just leave them and put them in the parts box. And of course, headlight bezels will stay chrome. So we are chrome, uh, de chroming valve cover, front cover, and these components. All right, let's strip them.
Okay, we're getting pretty far along now. I want to show the progress, and I, I have a feeling that up to this point it's been kind of chaotic going through this um, video because there was a lot of clips over quite a few months that were spread out, and I don't, even at this point, I don't know how I'm going to retrieve them all and put them all together. So I apologize if it's a mess, but I got a surprise for everybody. Get ready for this one. Ready? One, two... Three. Ta -da. That's another problem that I've been having is that I've been in the dark here. If you remember when I was a shed builder I had fantastic fluorescent lighting above and here in this giant garage I have um, okay I have an LED up there but it is not lighting up the bench well enough so what I've done is I've gotten one of these things and I've just got it wedged in there right now but eventually I'm going to have it hanging out. I've got to get some dowels, some uh, pieces of wood sticking out so that I can mount this on there to mount it uh, perpendicular to this to mount it straight across and shining straight down but for now we at least have some light on the subject so that now we can, and so all future videos will actually have light and I'm sorry it took me so long to get that together but let's go over where we're at now because we're close to a really good mock-up here so the interior is pretty much set as I had explained it was going to be black on black on black and it is very black on black on black so that is all set to go and the undercarriage is pretty set to go. I've gone with the uh, method that I like to do is a kind of semi-gloss on the main chassis and then gloss on the components. I think that's a good look. And then of course the body has been ready for a while. And the last thing that I've done is I have sanded the tires. So we're ready to uh, jam those on. And it's one of those things, you know how it goes, looking at those axle ends. You snap them on, sometimes they may snap on good, sometimes they snap on bad, sometimes they don't snap on at all. So this is the point where we uh, risk breaking the axle trying to get the thing on and so I wanted to get a good video coverage of what it looked like before I broke it. Anyway, so the next thing we're going to do is do a pretty good mock-up here. We can get the wheels on, get the body on with the uh, interior tub in there and get a good sense for how this is going to look. And it'll be lit up, so that'll be the next scene. Okay, so I'm going to call this the first stage of the mock-up because I just always like this stage. It looks like a uh, tea bucket or a jalopy or some other kind of thing that they just sort of made out in the barn. And as you can see, I got the wheels on. In the previous scene, you probably noticed that I had the wheel backs on backwards. I noticed that very clearly when I tried to put them on, and so I turned them around. I also shined up the wheels. Let's get a closer look at those basically just took some Windex to them and I will clean them up even more on the final once this thing is all together but uh, just wanted to get a shot at this section of it now at this point we'll try to get that body on without breaking it and see what that looks like Okay, so it looks like we're going to get denied a look at the the interior tub in there because with that in there, I wasn't able to... Oh, let me flip it over and show what I'm talking about. The problem is here in the back, it looks as though possibly these little these two little side panels at the very least are going to have to come back off and be installed afterwards. Um, just as I had predicted the front clip, that's why the front clip is not on there. It really looked to me like that was not 
I mean, and it definitely wasn't. It's not going to happen. Um, if the front clip was on, there'd be no way to get the chassis on. And as it turns out, there is limited ability to get the chassis on. With If the uh, interior tub was in there, it wouldn't be able to turn that corner, if you know what I mean. The uh, wedge, wedging in of it, uh, couldn't happen. Uh, so that'll have to be for another time, and we'll just get this uh, this smaller look at the mock-up. Of course, the engine is not in there. I can do a little more mocking up quickly. The engine is still under assembly here. And uh, see if I can sort of get the hood and the front clip on there. This might look a little ridiculous, but eh, let's try it. So, yeah, there, no, there's no way to get the front clip to actually kind of stay in place. But uh, I sort of got the hood on there, sort of. And I have sort of got the engine in there a little bit. And, uh, no, that's for another episode. But we do have a mock-up that's really starting to show the way it's going to look. And it's looking exactly how I want it to look. It is quite awesome. Look at that. This is going to be great, but ran into a little bit of snag there with the little skirts on the back. And uh, But no big deal. Pretty far along. It'll be finished in the next episode, but not in this one. Appreciate y'all watching, and stay tuned for the next one.